How Valent Cashed In Twice On Higher Drug Prices J. Michael Pearson, Valent's chairman and chief executive at the time, took a victory lap when he announced those earnings. We once again exceeded our guidance and delivered our fourth consecutive quarter of greater than 15% organic growth, he said. Heady days. Since then, Mr. Pearson has been removed, the stock has lost over 90% of its value and the company that made its name buying drug companies and jacking up the prices of their products is under investigation by multiple arms of the law. On August 9, Valent is scheduled to report this year's second quarter results. It is unclear, of course, what they will be. But new financial data related to Valent's dubious pricing strategy provides some unsettling clues, both to the company's future performance and how it generated past results. The new information, which has largely escaped notice elsewhere, involves price appreciation credits, an obscure but vital source of cash to Valent that is directly linked to its pricing practices. Now that those practices are under scrutiny, the money Valent receives from these credits is likely to decline substantially or disappear outright. Price appreciation credits are not uncommon in the pharmaceutical industry. They come about when a drug company increases the cost that its wholesalers must pay for a product they have contracted to distribute. Under these contracts, when Valent raises the price of a drug, it receives a credit from its wholesalers reflecting the impact of that price increase on those wholesalers' current inventory. inventory.